Okay guys, just wanted to show you um, a better view of the, I guess, most efficient setting I have so far and a cleaner view of the setup. So this is the cell running at 0 0.03 of an amp. Really it's 0 0.02 um, because um, the PWM draws 0 0.01. So at 0 0.02, going into the system uh, as an amp draw, we are getting 0.16 going into the cell. So that's about between seven, let's say six to eight times. It's eight times if you uh, take out the consumption for the PWM. Uh, with no load, so uh, I'm going to back out and show you everything. So here's a shot of the input, and that's coming directly from the battery charger going into there, as you can see. Now I've added two. Um, diodes in series going into the PWM. The PWM then comes out, whoops, then comes out and goes into the adjustable Don Smith type bifiler coil and you can see I've adjusted it by sliding the um, ferrite rod. From the ferrite rod, um, it goes all the way around and into the other meter, and that meter comes out and goes directly into the cell. I'll try and back up a bit here so you can see it all. So yeah, this is the most efficient I've been able to get it. Um, so it's just a matter of multiplying this effect, which is probably easier said than done. I need to um, build a, uh, I guess just a circuit that uh, mimics this specific frequency. Um, I'm not sure if anybody can help with that. I can try and get the frequency, and if anybody wants to help, that would be great. But I'm showing you everything right here. Right, there's the rod. It's adjustable by filer. There's the PWM. I'm trying a new one. There's the two diodes in series. And that's it. And here's the cell. Now obviously I can turn it up, so Let's turn it up and see what it does at, say, half an amp. So that's half an amp. So at half an amp, we're getting about 1.85 amps going into the cell. So that's from the battery charger. That's the input that's for the draw, and that's going into the cell. Let's see what one amp does. One amp is ridiculous. So 
Anyways, I think uh, up to now it's my most efficient uh, production and hopefully I can try and replicate it again if anybody wants to help me uh, build just a simple timing circuit to mimic this frequency so I can uh, multiply it, that'd be great and, uh, and I will uh, share the information as well. Let me know what you think.